Hi everyone, welcome to the Rashid Saleh Show, otherwise known as the RSS. I'm here with Harish Dool, also known as HD. So we're actually the RSS in HD with HD. Now, this show is very much uh, different to other shows that um, you've probably seen because uh, we'll be concentrating more on sports, although it will be a talk show about anything and everything under the heaven and the earth as well, because we, although we'll focus on being it being sports-centric, we will very much like to, for you guys to be able to tell us what you want us to talk about, but we will try and put a sports twist to it. To it as well. Now, um, Harish is the editor of 2213, a news website, and pretty much talks about anything news under the sun, especially on Malaysia. And I will be the host of the show. I will be your comedian. I'll be your presenter, and I'll be the one who will be like giving him a hard time as well. Now, this very first episode will be concentrating on the subject that is on the lips of every Malaysian East and West. Don't forget, I'm Sarawakian because we actually talk about sports. Mm -hmm. And that big topic is racism in sports. Now, it's something that we are all very aware of. Uh, it has been going on since Independence Day and it's still going on now and it's still being talked about whether you're in the news, you're outside in the mamas, mm -hmm. and it's one thing that um, has a never-ending solution. Yeah. And Harish, what do you think of it? You coming from a, you know, well, it's it, it's it's funny that we're going to talk about racism on in, in our on our first uh, show because it's really going to get some people riled up. But here's the thing: um, whenever the national football team wins or lose, the, you see the same poster going out. The the poster featuring uh, Santo, you know, um, the lead Muktadhari Arumugam and uh, Chinan, hmm. and and it's always that whole. Everyone views it at that racial in, in that racial lens, yeah. Um, the same thing happened when our hockey team played Great Britain and somebody pointed out that um, the whole list, they are only of one particular race with the exception of uh, I mean Great Britain. Sorry? <laughs> I mean Great Britain. Well, yeah, right. they all look the same. Yeah. <laughs> no. Talk about the Malaysian yeah, team, yeah. but yeah. Um, so, you know, then questions are being asked and, and the badminton team as well. So, you know, questions are being asked, do, you know, do uh, are our scouts really out there? Uh, are they really, um, you know, looking at um, the right talents are, are the real talents uh, donning the national colours now mm. it's really subjective simply because it's easy to comment it's easy to criticise but until and unless you're part of the system you've watched every single league match every single game throughout the year only then I think we can draw to a conclusion whether um, is there racism in the selection of the national team but that's at the elite level um, so the, that's the, the question is yeah. us where do we start? Where Correct. where where did where did it all begin? Did so, we have this problem in the past? Okay, did we have this problem in the past? Let's go back to the grassroots. Yeah, in the past we had the, the past time was playing a sport. Mm. Today we've got a lot of distractions. You know, malls, TV, so forth and so on. Esports. Uh, another okay, topic we'll be talking topic. about an, in an, another time. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so there are plenty of distractions. Yep. There are many distractions. Uh, and then you ask yourself, and you know what? Tuition is another distraction as well. Right. How's that? Yeah, uh, simply because, um, you know, a proper education system will ensure that your child ends his, uh, what do you call, uh, uh, studying time as per the school hours hmm. but here we see this tradition of parents sending their children uh, for tuition for additional classes hmm. despite their children not being weak so you know in many countries tuition is actually for children who are really weak but here you see tuition for children across the board whether they are weak or not right so yeah that takes up a lot of uh, uh, of their child's time so wh when do they have time to play sports and also you've got parents who believe that there is no future in sports and yet, at the same time, they look at someone like perhaps uh, Chong Wei and Nicole, and they go like, "Wow!" Okay, know. but the the, the 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 question is, yeah. is is it a cultural thing? Is it you know, uh, you know, especially here in, in in West Malaysia, Malay Chinese Indian. So the the Malay say you know play sports. The Chinese say no, you can't play sports. You've got to study. And the Indians will like you know either play football or, or everything else that they or if they're like uh, Dinesh. They'll go abroad, yeah. break all the barriers, yeah. go off to play rugby. So you see, here's a classic example. Yes, that's a classic example. Here's a but classic example. 
you know, but uh, he was, I remember at a young age, yeah. they like, you know, was not being encouraged to play sports because Lao is, is, is seen as elitist because, you know, only the certain so races he, play. So, so, here, so here, here's, here's the, the irony. The same people who comment that, you know, I've had this debate with so many people in the past. The same people who comment that, you know, uh, why isn't there a balance uh, of races in our national team? Mm. And I asked them, I said, do you encourage your child to play a sport? And immediately the Ripson will go like, no, you know, there's no future. I said, exactly, that's your answer. If you do not encourage your child to pick up a sport, then you expect someone else's child to actually pick up a sport and represent so that to, you know, satisfy your craving of having a so-called balance. And here's the thing, here's another thing I need to stress this. You speak about unity, you speak about, you know, everyone being equal. Mm. We are all Malaysians at the end of the day. Right. So why are we even having this conversation? Because regardless if your name has a Muhammad in front or a Lee in front or a Sami or an Ahin uh, as a surname or a anak or a anak kepada yeah, yeah, yeah or yeah. you know yeah. so forth and so on it at the end of the year you're a Malaysian so so what yes but who, who, who now now the mm. question is mm. who's trying to do this or is this something too sensitive to be talking about because at the end of the day we we have so much talent yeah and racism really blocks that i mean now we're seeing especially in football we have the yeah. brendan guns we yeah. have you know all these kids who are oh they are kids to us aren't they oh my god <laughs> i'm actually quite old um, the, the, and these these guys yeah. who've, who've been you know they're not naturalized they yeah. actually have parents who are yeah. who are malaysian i mean we've got damien lim dominic tan yes. ardinish quentin cheng you know arco Guliswaran. exactly yeah so and yeah. why weren't they before and why did they have to come from abroad to and and play in the national league because oh. Prior to that, you know, because at the end of the day, the topic is the racism. Are they now accepted, or has it have they not been encouraged to 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 play a certain sport because of that? Okay, perhaps, perhaps there are elements, and I'm not dis dismissing the fact that it does not happen. Yeah, mm. I know for a fact that it happens in schools. Okay, I was um, uh, what do you call a victim, so to speak. Yeah, you were. Yes. So um, so pretty boy in school yeah. victim. <laughs> In a sense that, you see, um, I was part of, I was selected by a particular coach to undergo a talent, tall talent program which was initiated by the Malaysian Association of uh, Malaysian Basketball Association. Right. It was a long time ago. So I attended uh, one session at Maba, I remember that night very clearly. And after the session, uh, being the only non Chinese there, um, I was informed straight to my face that I would not make the cut to the next level, uh, not because of my height, because clearly I was taller. Or, or, um, or of the same height of and the others. And you were talented? Uh, okay, perhaps, you know, some people will go like, perhaps you're just not talented. But here's the thing, if they had told me that, I would have accepted it. Yeah. But they told me the first thing, the first excuse they told me was, oh, you can't speak Mandarin. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, because everyone else spoke Mandarin. We, we've had that. No, we've... And, and I went like, but I can speak Cantonese. Mm. What's it called? Oh, can speak at least, but not Mandarin. Uh, so it might have been a, a you know a, just a dialect thing. So because thing. of that, I, I was okay. So now imagine if it had, it had been someone. So for me, basketball was not the thing, lah. You know, mm. I mean, somebody, you know, saw that uh, I I fit the bill. I played and you know. But imagine someone who's been, you know, he wants to be the next basketball player for right. the country. Right. And imagine something like this is thrown to him. How will he or her react? And we've seen a lot of we've also I've also experienced this not personally but uh, during my reporting days, whereby teachers claim that oh um, you know we would like a certain race so that it's easier to uh, uh, to arrange for accommodation and uh, food. Okay, but um, you know uh, yeah we we haven't got that much yeah. time left. But who do we blame? The parents? Do us as parents? Where do we start and and looking forward to the future now? What can we do about it? And, you know we've got. No, what I, kind I, of I short think, solutions yes, do the, we have now? Okay, now it starts with us. Yeah, if we don't change the way we look at sports, uh, then we are not gonna, never going to win this war. And if you say that the selection process is wrong, I think we live in a day and age whereby we have got a lot of options. Hmm. We've got plenty of options. And you know what? Um, people out there will realize the potential your child has. So, you know, you, you've got alternatives. If, let's say, for example, a particular academy um, does not fit your bill, you are always free to go independent. Let's say, for example, for right. badminton or even for football and so forth and so on. 
You see, the, the, the likes of, you know, the names that we mentioned earlier in football, they didn't come from a uh, football program within the country. But yet, at the end of the day, you can't dismiss talent. So it's as simple as that. So at the end of the day, yeah. it is Malaysian first rather than, you know, Ali Correct. Mutu and Achong. You, you Al- speak about Ali, one Achong and Mutu. Correct. Dan Lain Lain. Dan Lain yeah, Lain, yeah. yeah. There's we, no Dan Lain Lain, there's only Dan Malaysia. Yeah, especially so. with us being parents of mixed children anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's exactly. How, how, how do I categorize my kid? I mean, Malaysian kid. Correct. Yeah. That, that's uh, that's how I see my it, children. It's unfair to call him uh, Indian because uh, he has Chinese blood. Hmm. It's unfair to call him just Chinese because he has got Indian blood. So yeah. he's Malaysian. Well, he's he's Malaysian. Yeah. So you know, there, there's so much that we can talk about. Do yeah. tell us what you think uh, in the comments below. Don't forget to sc- subscribe to us at the RSS. Uh, this show obviously has been brought to you by Amnik, a must name in gear. That's a trusted athleisure yeah. Malaysian brand. It's really really good. And of course. Thank you to the um, MK Community Centre for hosting us and giving us this studio as well. It's been really great. Watch out for the second edition, or rather the second episode of the RSS, where we will be talking about... Politics in sports. Hmm. Ooh, there's going to be a lot of burn there. Don't forget, the RSS right here.